Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. Welcome to my happy place and messy place because we never clean, but that's okay. I have a variety of things to share with you today. Number one, I was so excited. This morning I went to breakfast with my girlfriend. Um, and she goes, oh, she goes, your makeup looks beautiful. Well, I was so excited because I finally did... Or I did a, a different look today. So I got my little... I was showing her my little sloppy journal. So I wrote in the day. And what I use. L'Oreal Infallible. The number. Cover Girl. Pore, minimizing Pores Primer. And this was new Wet n Wild Banana Photo Focus Powder. So that was just a great makeup day. And that's what I used. And I put the date on it. So that's how I'm going to be using this in my... And I put it right in my purse. So can't get any worse. I mean, if it rips, it rips. But that was that was fun. I was excited. And she really liked this too. So that's number one. Thank you, Bobby, for making my day. And number two, let's do this. These are my wine cookies. This one is one I... These come out a little softer because I don't over bake them. And these I bake extra because my husband likes them really crunchy or for Dunkin'. So the recipe, and I'll write it down. Easy, one cup wine, one cup oil, one cup sugar, a teaspoon of baking powder, and four and a half cups flour. And I always actually double it. So that is the recipe. And I will... Like I said, I'll write it below, and, the, and all you do, I do, is take a piece of, and I'll eat these after, you take your dough, you kind of roll it out, and then you just, I just put them like that, and then you put them in your cookie sheet, and then the baking powder will make them get that big. So those are the wine cookies. Next, oh, I was just playing with this. This, I finally decided to part with some of my very beautiful um, beaded boho type fabric I got from Gina. I figured I've held it for six months plus and I'm done. So I made an envelope set. This is on, is on my Etsy. And it just comes with... Um, actually, it's on my Etsy. There's a bunch of pretty, uh, little journal and some. Let me go get them. And I'll probably add by the time this video goes up because it's what I do. Um, journal with all fabric because I wanted to make sure it fit in there. And then just some pretties. It's, uh, some of the yellow pretties I put in there. This is like a fan, but it's a tag, a file folder, an envelope that's not finished yet, and then that, and then whatever else I decide to put in there. So I hit, and this is very heavy, and I'm working on it to close. Right now I got it tied with a piece of sari silk or seam binding, so it stays closed. This is a big one. This is 10 by 5. And the material is heavy. So this is this is a little different. A little more pricier. Because of all the vintage stuff. And just the material itself. So that is there. Then I was playing. Okay now time to play. Business is done. I was playing with. Clear gesso. And this is what I got. Liquitex clear gesso. And we're just going to pour it. There. Now, do I suggest you have to go out and get it? Nah. You could do this with regular. Or... I just ha I bought it for a specific thing because I like to use use it on all my um, bags, the waxy bags. So what I was doing this morning, I was putting on napkin and the seed packets. I was making all my little thank you gifts. And use the napkins, but the napkins are white. So I decided to take a drop of, um, it's Tim Holtz I, old paper. And, and I don't even put it in it. I just put it near it. 
and I, let's see, well, let's see, where is that? Oh, well, then I was doing this one with the windows, so that's the one I will show you. I really like the windows because you can stamp over it, so you can just, and this is going to dry clear with now I got ink, or a little green ink in it with just a hint of green but it's still gonna dry I mean you could still see it underneath that but I, 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 I like that look and then this one I stamped and then I just put a piece of music paper so it holds the stamp better and then I just did um because you know, I have problems with Mod Podge lately. It's so humid here. I think it's my weather. So I just took a piece of napkin, and I know you've seen this hundreds of times. I kind of put it over the window. And I put... I didn't worry about too much about the green underneath that. Slap it on. So then this again... So this I'll add, can you see? Yep, this I'll add a little of the green and just work it out. So today after breakfast, I decide to go get my apples at the our local apple orchard. Because I said this week they had an ad out. Now in our Cortland's and Max, and those are my favorite. So I drive a half hour to go there. Well, maybe 20 minutes. I go in there and the store is empty of apples. I said, do you have any Cortland's or Max? Oh, yeah. I said, well, are they out yet? Oh, no, you got to go pick them. Now, I had high heels on. I was dressed up for breakfast and errands, not apple picking. But by then, I was a little ticked off. So I'm not leaving here without apples. So get my little... ah little car in my pack bag and off I treeps in the woods up a hill and I felt like an idiot because I did have my not heels they were wed but they weren't <laughs> they weren't really outside um, walking apple picking shoes luckily the trees are loaded and you can get through the bees it was uh of course, I would, like I said, I was already mad at that point. I just wanted to get out of there, get my apples, and go home and be in my craft room. So there was my morning. And then I got, did my apples, and then I came home. There. Now I guffed that up because I was a little talking too much. So what I'll do is just push that out and then stamp over it like this one I will get ugh. let's get some black ink <coughs> and, oops And then, like I said, you can get, let's see, actually, I like the music paper behind it. I can make another tag. Yeah, I like that look. Something like that. And if you want, just take a little piece. I like it on the flower side. And then the glue will stick on it. It'll be. It's, it's like that. It's just like sandpaper. I love the texture of that. And then I will 
good. A little piece of something, something. Mm. No. Oh, let's see. I have something that matches here. When in doubt, let me get the cream. Yeah, you can do probably old, I mean, vintage photo. It's funny because somebody just put on um, junk journal donkeys if they could add paint to clear gesso, and you can do that too. So one more cute thing is hmm. tonight my daughter in law invited us over. Everybody's good because actually, let's see, Friday is. My my husband and I's anniversary, 35 years. Where has the time gone? <laughs> and I told the kids I don't want to do anything but go out to dinner with the family. And then I'll hit it a little with the clear gesso with the ink, just to give it a little green hue along with the there and I'll probably do a bit let's see what a different tag looks like or you can put um, let's see this is like Artie Mays in there and these would be good in journals like I said I'm just making them for thank you gifts to go in my packages and if you ordered anything from me tomorrow or Wednesday at the latest everything will be shipped out unless I send you a note oh that's pretty too Fix up the cream. So any of them. Yep, cute, cute, cute. Okay, so that's what you could do with clear gesso. You can put um, any of the distressed inks in. I wouldn't do a lot because it's gonna. I mean, I'll sit here and do the rest of these, but um, it does go far. So I believe that's it, and I will see you guys later. So have a nice night. Bye.